I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll take up 16 very important questions based on limits and continuity. It is a complete test paper on the very first unit of calculus. As per request of some of my students, I am sharing these questions with you. I'll appreciate if you could go through these questions, answer them, and then submit your suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. So the questions here are, you can see the very first question, then we have six more questions to find the limits, then on sketching the graph of a derivative, and then there are application and communication questions in which you need to find instantaneous rate of change, asymptotes, equation of tangent, and equation of normal. Then we're looking to transformation of function. You find the equation of transformed function shown g of x, and then you need to find the equation of tangent line. Question number 14 is to find the increasing, decreasing interval and possible local extremas from the graph of derivative. So we are given the graph of derivative, and you need to find increasing, decreasing interval and possible local extrema on the function get the idea. So from derivative, try to get the function and then answer the question or use the concepts of derivatives. Question number 15 is on continuity of functions. You need to explain the solution with the help of limits. Sketch the graph of function and determine if the function is continuous or discontinuous. If discontinuous, mention all the points of discontinuity. Clear? The last question here is regarding reverse calculations. A tangent to the parabola f of x equals to 3x squared plus 7x plus 1 is parallel to the line 33x plus 3y minus 14 equals to 0. Determine equation of the tangent line. Perfect. So we have quickly gone through these questions. Now, I like you to pause the video, answer them one by one. Let's now look into these questions once again. In case you need my help, you can always send an email on the address given. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandilani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Let us now have another look at these questions and understand strategies to solve them. These questions are based on knowledge, communication, application, and thinking problems. This test on limits and continuity should help you to understand this topic much better. In case you need any additional help, feel free to contact me on the email address given. Here is the very first question for you which is based on limits concept. Question number one. Can the limit exist at x equals to a if? So there are different parts to it. Part a is if x equals to a is an end point of function continuous in the closed interval of a and b. Second part of this question is if x equals to a represents a hole in the graph of the function. 
third part x equals to a represents a vertical asymptote in the graph of a function and the last part of this question is if x equals to a in the graph of f of x equals to absolute value of x minus a. So, these are four different questions from question number one. You need to justify can the limit exist in these conditions. Provide an example to support your answer. Now, solutions to most of these questions are already there in my video. So, if you search for them, you will also find the solutions. But I like you to answer these questions first. Let us look into the second question, which is set of questions based on how do we evaluate limits. Six of them are right there, where you will be using different techniques of finding limits. Question number eight, sketch graph of a derivative means sketch graph of the derivative explain the strategy and what are you given you are given the function f of x so sketch graph of the derivative from the given graph to consider this to be f of x you need to sketch the graph of derivative you may write this as f prime x. Question number 9 to 12. Question 9. Estimate the instantaneous rate of change at x equals to minus 3 of the function f of x equals to x to the power of 4 plus 5 x cubed plus 2. Question number 10. Find asymptotes for g of x equals to 3 minus 2 x over x. Question 11. Determine the equation of tangent line at the point 1 minus 3 on the circle given to you. So, this equation is given to you in standard form. You should be in a position to find the center and then the equation. Question 12. Find the derivative of f of x equals to square root of 2x minus 3 using first principles definition. Write an equation of the normal at x equals to 4. Perfect. Very important set of questions. Let us move on to question number 13. Recall transformations. Question 13. Graph of parent function f of x equals to square root of x. That is the parent function and its transform function g of x. So, this is g of x is given. Write the equation of the transformed function. This point here is minus 2. Determine equation of the tangent on g of x at x equals to 1. Perfect. Question number 14. Find increasing, decreasing interval and possible local extrema for the following. You are given the graph of derivative. So, you are given the graph not of function, but of its derivative. You have to find increasing interval, decreasing interval, possible local extrema for the function. Do you understand? Very tricky question. Think and solve. Question number 15. This is based on continuity. f of x is equal to x plus 2 when x is less than or equal to 0 equals to x square plus 2 when x is between 0 and 3 where 3 is included and 2x plus 1 when x is greater than 3. Sketch the graph of f of x and determine if the function is continuous or discontinuous. If discontinuous, mention all the points of discontinuity. 
you need to use the concept of limits to verify whether the function is continuous or discontinuous. Here is the last question. The question is, a tangent to the parabola f of x equals to 3x square plus 7x plus 4 is parallel to the line 33x plus 3y minus 14 equals to 0. Determine the equation of tangent. You might have to do reverse calculations to find first the point on the parabola where the slope will be parallel to the given line and then you can find that equation. Perfect. So now you can solve the test paper with these questions. I hope it helps you in understanding the topic. In case you need any help, you can always contact me on the email address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.